Hello and good day outdoor enthusiasts. My name is Alan and today I'm going to do a walk around of the Sunray 109 Sport Model. Uh, this is a micro travel trailer. Uh, its gross weight is 1,200 pounds, which it makes it uh, very tall bull by most uh, mid-sized SUVs. Uh, but it's really popular with the Jeep crowd. Uh, a lot of Wrangler owners have this particular unit, uh, but it's uh, very easy to get around, uh, very towable, and it has a lot of amenities for the trailer itself. Uh, we're gonna do a walk around here today. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the modifications as well as you know some of the options that were Know, put in the trailer uh, from the manufacturer uh, and we will start the walk around uh, in front of the trailer okay uh, starting in the front of the trailer uh, it has a stargazing window uh, this model also has a uh, uh, upgraded battery box diamond plated metal battery box with uh, two uh, six volt uh, deep cycle golf cart batteries. Uh, the original model had the spare tire on the tongue, which was kind of a hazard in a way, especially with Jeeps because of the spare tires on the Jeep is in the back. So I didn't like that particular uh, setup. So it, I relocated the tire and installed a uh, rack on top of the unit. Okay, uh, you have your propane bottle, uh, which is a standard 40 pound propane bottle. Also, uh, there is a uh, gauge to show you uh, the propane in the tank, as well as levelers on the tongue for leveling the trailer left to right in front to back. Uh, you have your regulator, and you also have a battery disconnect switch, as well as uh, solar prep. Now this unit is solar prepped uh, with the, con uh, the uh, connection on the roof as well as uh, the jack, which is for portable, a portable unit, a briefcase type of unit. Okay, this unit also has a furnace, uh, which is a gas operated furnace. There's your furnace vent. Uh, there's storage compartment uh, to put your odds and ends miscellaneous items. Uh, this unit is also equipped with a 30 amp connection uh, which is required to run your microwave and your air conditioner which this has. Uh, and you need to run those by plugging it into shore power at a campground or into a generator. Uh, it also has an outside shower uh, with a 10 foot shower hose. Uh, 16 gallon fresh water uh, storage tank uh, for when you're out boondocking. Uh, there's also city connection uh, when you're at a campground. Uh, you can plug it into the, the city supply. Uh, also a jack uh, for your coax cable if you're in a campground as well. It does have its own uh, high definition and roof mounted antenna as well. Uh, six gallon hot water tank which is nice uh, and you do have a drain for the sink now this unit does not have a bathroom or toilet uh, but there is a drain line uh, that comes out of the galley sink uh, for, for drainage uh, one of the upgrades that this unit does have uh, is the uh, kick-ass uh, portable Changing room, shower room, uh, really works out nice. It folds out. Uh, you can use it for changing. Uh, there's an area up there where you can hook the shower head. You can take a shower. Uh, plus, there's an area there where you can keep a portable toilet. Again, you know, for boondocking, that's really a, a real nice, real nice setup for that. Uh, I mentioned earlier, 
uh, that I relocated the spare tire to the to the roof. Uh, this did have a um, rack on it as well. So I modified uh, a frame and the tires mounted up top. I do have a four foot portable ladder I keep with me so you have easy access uh, if you needed to get to it uh, to change the tire and, and in an event there would be an issue uh, with a flat. Okay, uh, this is the this is the galley. Uh, well equipped again for a, a trailer this size. You have your two burner Dometic stove, uh, which is gas with an automatic igniter. Uh, you have hot and cold water sink. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, there's a drain line for it. Uh, you have lighting uh, as well. Uh, cabinet storage uh, over the sink area as well as under the sink. Uh, you have your GFI receptacle uh, for plugging in your carrier or any type of outdoor electric appliance that you might want to use. Uh, your water pump switch when you're using uh, your your tank when you're off off grid or boondocking, and then your uh, uh, switch for your hot water heater. Uh, the other nice thing this unit has it has a microwave. Uh, again, like I mentioned earlier, you can only use the microwave or the air conditioner if you're plugged into shore power. Uh, but this does have a gas and an electric refrigerator, which is nice, uh, with a small freezer. A few mod mods uh, here uh, to the rear of the trailer. Uh, two rear stabilizing jacks. Uh, which is nice, it helps stabilize, even though it's a small trailer, it really helps keep things stabilized, uh, especially when you're inside, uh, as well as uh, two different uh, receiver hitches, two inch receiver hitches, uh, which can be utilized for multiple things. Uh, and there's also an additional receiver hitch on the side for portable grill or any type of item that you might have. Uh, plus it has your auxiliary gas line for a quick connect connection to, to, to an appliance. Okay, uh, this does have outside speakers, uh, stereo inside as well as speakers in, in, in the unit. Uh, outside receptacle, air conditioning unit, which is pretty nice in the hot and humid days. Uh, another modification is the Fox Wing 270 degree awning which is really nice the whole awning extends all the way around over the galley to the back corner uh, of the trailer giving you really nice big area of, of uh, shade and, and weather protection in the rain uh, with the awning there are two uh, two dividers uh, inside to help with, with shelter that can be zipped in, uh, in in the awning itself. Very, very easy to use. Uh, guidelines and poles, everything is within the awning itself. Okay, the unit also has a uh, screened in door as well as you know, an exterior door uh, and a step up to get inside the unit. Inside, you have a gaucho style uh, sofa which does turn into a bed the whole frame slides out and it gives you a full size uh, bed area uh, for sleeping uh, your air conditioning unit uh, pretty basic unit uh, speakers you have a Dometic fan uh, that actually blows air in or blows air out depending on, on how you want to utilize it. Stereo system, uh, HDMI and USB, -A, uh, USB stuff. And uh, you have a thermostat back here for your furnace as well as more uh, uh, charging area for cell phones or iPads or, or whatever. Uh, the nice thing in here uh, with this television uh, it's wireless Roku capable. Uh, it's a small Roku soundbar. 
amplified sound bar and it's pretty amazing how it sounds uh, again you can you can use it with Roku uh, you know at a campground or you can use it at a hot spot and if you have Netflix or any of the channels you can definitely watch it or you can watch uh, on air uh, with the uh, antenna that is mounted on the roof it has a, a high definition style antenna so you can watch on air channels if you're in an area uh, but the television itself extends and turns so you know it's kind of a nice really nice setup uh, when you're in bed if you're just hanging out inside or you know but it, it, it is really nice to have the setup and the sound it really is very good quality sound uh, you have your uh, CO2 uh, detector uh, there's your your inverter with the unit and there's your furnace uh, where you know the heat would discharge in, into the into the unit itself uh, to the rear there's uh, access to the to the refrigerator a little storage uh, compartment here as well uh, smoke detector uh, all windows have blinds uh, this window actually opens up it is it is also an emergency exit if you would have to get out of the unit itself uh, but that is a window there as well. Uh, I think that pretty much uh, covers uh, the inside uh, of the uh, 109. Okay, well that pretty much uh, wraps up our walk around of the uh, 109 Micro uh, Sunray Sport Travel Trail. Uh, as you can see, it, to the size of the trail itself, it packs a lot of options and, and again, being that it is a smaller unit, easy to pull uh, with you know, mid-sized SUVs, Jeeps. Uh, it's, it really is something that uh, is, is uh, could be you know enjoyed for a weekend or even a week or just traveling around. So.